Alrighty, today I'm going to show you how to change a thermostat in a 1997 Dodge Grand Caravan with the 3.8 in it, the V6. Because this one went out and I'm going to show you the process on how to change it and how to reinstall it. There's barely any room to change a thermostat on these little sideways engines on these 3.8s. But you guys can make the best of it. Come on, come on, come on. And you can see the housing of the thermostat has came loose. And now we're gonna figure out why this fan is overheating. Because it's a thermostat that's not opening correctly. As you can see, we got that out the way. And now we're just about to take off the housing and take off the old one and clean it up. You always want to clean it up after you take out the old one.
as you can see, I'm just about to take out the thermostat from this spot right here. Hopefully it will come out. Right about there. Once it come out right now. Let's see if we can get this out. The heck? opening hmm. as you can see our thermostat's opening pretty good now we're just trying to figure out why it does not want to work so stay tuned for that all right guys I just popped up the old thermostat as you can see by that I get the camera to focus right now As you can see, that we popped it on. Now we're trying to figure out why there is no water going through there. I'm going to put a new one in, see what's up. And right now, this is our old one. Right there, they look virtually the same. It's a little bit different. So we're going to see what's up. Right now I'm about to clean that off and replace it and we'll see why it's not opening. Stay tuned for that. Hold on. As you can see right now, I am cleaning the thermostat housing. It'll be nice to clean in for the, for the new thermostat to sit in. This we want to make sure you get all of that stuff off so that is nice and clean it has a nice fresh making surface for it you want to make sure it's too dirty Make sure both sides of it are clean, which is which is the top piece and the bottom piece. Make sure it has a nice flush mounting surface. And there's no gunk on it. Make sure this is completely clean. 
Make sure there's no residue whatsoever of the old gasket on here. I'm actually cool both of them. So we're going to drop this new one in and see what it does. This one came with what I guess I didn't install it on here. Alrighty guys, we're gonna put the old one, the new one in. This works. You wanna make sure you got the gasket for it. So that it's a brand new gasket and you stick it on there. And you want to make sure you stick the sticky side of the gasket to the thermostat housing on where the thermostat sits. So it sits nice and flush. Stick it down. What the hell? So stick it down to this side. So that everything lines up correctly. So. Okay, there we go. Stuck this one to here. I'm gonna stick it on top of the, the new thermostat. And now we're gonna put it down. With the included hardware. So right now we're reinstalling the new thermostat with the new gasket and we're gonna see if this is gonna work correctly. Alright, as we're putting this on, we're going to see this leaks. Let's see what's going to happen. What the log? And as you can see, that the space gets limited. It takes longer to put this on here now. Slowly going at it. So we got that one. We need this one right here. Be able to 
see what we're doing at the moment. As we are putting back the old thermostat right there. Make sure you tighten both of these down nice and tight. You don't want them loose because if it's loose, it's going to spring a leak. And you got to take it all off all over again. I like to make sure all my stuff is nice and tight or snug. Depending on where you put it, like right there. That ought to do her. Now we just show you how to put in a thermostat on a 1997 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.8 in it. I'm about to start it off and see what it's going to do. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, like my videos. At Jammer Martinez, who will show you how to do reviews on all vehicles, how to put in parts, and how to take in parts. Thank you for watching.